Hi everyone, welcome to Gnant Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to manage multiple cloud estates with HPE CMP. CMP means Cloud Management Platform. So the CMP as a service adopts the market leading CMP solution from the HP in the GreenLake model. As we are aware, GreenLake model is nothing but a pay as you go model and comes with software, hardware, implementation and integration services in your data center and receive a monthly bill based on consumption. Okay, so now let's talk about how we are going to manage. Normally, most of the customer environment, it can be have a on-premises data center, edge or remote offices, and they have a hosted cloud, and they also have a integration with hyperscaler data center. That means private cloud, AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, and it can be a, any of the other third-party public cloud as well, either Oracle, IBM, Alibaba, and so on. And this HPE CMP platform, it supports to integrate around 20 plus public cloud platforms, not only limited to these three, around 20 plus cloud environments. And which includes also the, it can able to manage our bare metal environment like physical nodes includes machine critical infrastructure and software defined infrastructure. So within the software defined infrastructure, we have a multiple types of software defined infrastructure like multi-purpose infrastructure, specialized infrastructure, HCI models, hyper converged infrastructure and composable infrastructure. Let me give you an example. HCI means hyper converged infrastructure even HPE have a HPE simplicity, and if you are planning to use VMware HCA, we can use Virtual SAN, and we can also use Nutanix HCA solution. And the composable infrastructure means we are using a HPE synergy. Synergy means better blade server, or in other words, we call it as composable infrastructure. We can compose a compute nodes as well as storage nodes within a one HPE synergy frame. And on top of, we can run our software defined infrastructure. We have a couple of options. So it depends on the customer's choice. It may be vary from one customer to another customer. They can run Red Hat OpenShift and some customers may use VMware VCF, VMware v Cloud Foundation, and some may use OpenStack. Some may use Nutanix Prism Central. Acropolis hypervisor and some may use Microsoft Hyper-V and Azure Stack HCI solutions. So this solution may be vary, but the customer, for example, if the customer using Red Hat OpenShift. Within the Red Hat OpenShift, we have a Red Hat virtualization concept. We can configure the virtual machine and coincidentally within the virtual machine environment, we can also run OpenShift container platform. That means our infrastructure running with virtual machine as well as container. But in the future, our developer team, they want to run their container application on public cloud. That means OpenShift can be implemented on AWS, can be implemented on Azure. If you suppose if I am running OpenShift on AWS, we call it as ROSA. That means R-O-S-A, Red Hat OpenShift on AWS. And ARO, ARO means Azure, uh, ARO, Azure Red Hat OpenShift. Okay, or we can also run it on Google Cloud. So with this scenario, for AWS, we have separate console and Red Hat OpenShift separate console. That means we have to manage with a multiple consoles. But when it comes to the HPE CMP platform, it is a centralized single plane of class using this HPE CMP hybrid cloud console. We can manage all these environments within one console. Suppose in the future, if the customer wanted to use a VMware stack or they wanted to use another public cloud stack, even though if it is multiply increased also, all these environments, multiple cloud estates can be managed with a HPE CMP platform. That is the key point here.
suppose another customer they are using a vmware environment that means vmware have a multiple software defined infrastructure stdc components which includes vcf is the main software stack product within your vcf we have your vspa we have nsx we have virtual san and the customer also plan to use a container application they can they can also utilize vmware tanju in order to automate all these environments, vSphere, NSX, vSAN, and also the Tanju environment, for automation purpose, they need a ARIA automation tools. So ARIA automation, formally we call it as vRelays automation. So all this environment, even though if the customer is dedicated to on-premises or private cloud environment, there is some possibilities customer they want to expand or they want to migrate their workloads to the public cloud, like hyperscaler, when they are planning to integrate with the public cloud, they can able to integrate, but to manage within a single plane of glass, we need this CMP platform tool. So centralized management to manage multiple cloud estates. It can cover the private cloud, it can cover the public cloud, both can be managed within a one single console. Okay. And OpenStack, even uh, OpenStack also the same as Red Hat and VMware. And similarly, Nutanix also, we have a Nutanix Prism Central, Nutanix Calm, and we can integrate with public cloud. And to centrally manage, we use CMP. And same case applicable for Microsoft as well. Azure Stack HCI generally for private cloud solution. If the, when we have Azure Stack HCI, still if you want to integrate with Azure public cloud, we need a Azure Arc component. When we have a Azure Arc component, it will help you to integrate from Azure Arc to Azure Arc will help to integrate between Azure Stack and Azure Cloud. Okay, so until now we understand how the customer infrastructures are defined. They may have different kind of environment, but the common thing is they can also integrate with public cloud. To manage this multiple environment, so to multiple cloud estates, or cloud estate means we can also consider it as cloud assets. All these assets can be managed with HPE cloud management platform. And how this management platform is, Within the platform, nowadays, most of the infrastructure applications definition is changed. Applications are moving from monolithic to tier-based application and tier-based to microservices architecture. That means all applications are containerized application. So within the containerization, we have a multiple Kubernetes clusters. When it comes to HPE, HPE have their own Kubernetes cluster product that is called HPE Esmeral. If uh, other product called Suzy Rancher and Red Hat OpenShift, but one key point here is all these Kubernetes cluster are enterprise grade Kubernetes cluster. It's not a open source. All are a enterprise grade Kubernetes product, and these all components can be run it on any of the environment. But only thing is, it may be vary from one customer to another customer. Some customers may use HPE Esmeral. Some customers may use Red Hat OpenShift. And if you are dedicatedly running on your workloads on Google Cloud, they may go for a Google Kubernetes engine. Suppose some, if they are using an open stack environment, they may go for a canonical charm Kubernetes. And if the customer is using Nutanix environment, they may prefer to use Kubernetes cluster on Nutanix Carbon. Okay. If the customer, they are using their environment on VMware VCF, they prefer to use Kubernetes cluster is VMware Tanju. And if the customer have Azure Stack HCA on-premises and they have an integration to Azure Cloud, they go for a Kubernetes cluster is Azure Kubernetes service. And similarly, if the customer, irrespective of the environment, they have integration to AWS, they prefer to use Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service, EKS. Okay, so this all the environment, mixed environment, or we in other words, we call it as heterogeneous environment can be managed using the HPE cloud management platform with the GreenLake model. That means pay as you go model. So within the multi-cloud management platform, we have all these services like cost management. We can also segregate the 
complete cost management report and we can also provide a multi-tenant facility and the service request and provisioning how we can provide service request and provisioning is same like public cloud uh, aws azure and google cloud even within the hpa cmp also we have a self-service portal it's running with the catalog multiple catalog items within the catalog the customer may provide a provisioning like they can they can deploy as a bare metal as a service vm as a service container as a service and all the service requests can they can submit once it is approved it will provision automatically without manual intervention and capacity and resource management even we have a capacity planning report whatever the vms or containers are over utilized or under utilized accordingly we can fine tune our cloud management platform and we also have capabilities of automation and orchestration and this hpa cmp will support it for a ansible platform chef puppet and also vmware we release orchestrator automation platforms so based on your flexibility you can use the specific automation and orchestration tools to automate our cloud management assets and the SaaS aggregation and also we have cloud migration from on-premises to public cloud vice versa governance and policy and cloud native continuous delivery we can also use some CACD pipelines like Argo CD or we can use OpenShift pipelines and so on and the multi-cloud brokering and we have monitoring and metering within the HPA CMP have a the negative monitoring monitoring tools and it will also helpful for metering as well and we have a additional within the multi-cloud management platform we have cloud analytics security management and service management on top the customer they can run their cloud services they can utilize the HPE cloud services like uh, within a traditional apps they can utilize infrastructure as a service platform as a service and they can also provide to the multiple tenants and applications can be on a cloud native applications so container platform as a service and multiple tenants software as a services okay until now we understand if the customer have a mixed environment or heterogeneous environment on premises private cloud and hybrid cloud we know that we have a hpa cmp cloud management platform it will help you to manage all the multiple cloud estates okay how we can start with this hpe cmp in order to do that we have a services within a hpe hpe advisory and professional services like the, we will provide you the day one day zero day one that means from the day zero means starting from solution design and day one implementation services will be provided using ANPS, advisory and professional services. How about the day two and day and life cycle management? In order to provide a day two and a day and we have another service that is called delivered as services with HPE GreenLake managed services in short form GMS service. So GreenLake managed service also will provide to at this entire solution, they will provide day two and day three and so on. That means day and all the day to manage day to operations as well as uh, life cycle updates and upgrades irrespective of the environment using the cmp we will provide the respective managed services okay hope you understand the complete overview of how we are going to manage multiple cloud estates in our customer environment using hpe cmp okay so finally what is the benefit of hpe cmp it's a open and heterogeneous solution advisory consulting implementation and management these services are available with the hpe cmp and to transform it into services organization that means everything as a service and improve time to market and offered with hpe green lake that means pay as you go grow option okay so within our cmp platform not only single cloud we can manage multiple clouds okay now business outcomes with cloud management platform speed and agility operational efficiency with unified control plane that means within single plane of class we can manage all the multiple infrastructure multiple compute network environment and also the storage environment we can also integrate with the file servers block storage and also integrated with object storages 
okay and the compliance and governance it as a service provider it as a service broker and everything as a service model with infrastructure as a service platform as a service containerization as a service and also database as a service and so on and the better tco improve time to market value insights and we can also provide a automation on this entire heterogeneous environment and a secure cloud experience these are all the business outcomes with hpe cloud management platform hope you understand the complete overview how we are managing a multiple cloud estates using hpe cmp okay so that's it thank you for watching if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the gnan cloud garage channel if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now